good. How are you? Not too bad. So how's my grandson doing these days? I'm good. How's school going for you? I graduated. Oh, congratulations. I must have missed the ceremony, I guess. Well, this is a big step for you, huh? I bet the colleges are lined up around the block for you. I didn't get into any of the ones I applied. Why are you worried about the chair? Well, uh, I wanted you to drive it to my new house. Remember I called you about three weeks ago? And I haven't got it yet, so I was worried that maybe something happened along the way. Like you got into an accident, or I... No, I just uh, haven't left yet. Oh, oh, oh okay. I, I was worried for a while there, so when were you thinking of driving it over here? I don't know. Oh, well, uh, could you do it today? What do you need the chair for? What's a chair show? Like a dog show, but the chairs. How does that work? The judges examine the chairs. Then they judge them. And you want to enter your chair in a chair show? Yes. But it's ratty. It's not ratty. It's weathered, yes. But that adds character. And it has every right to be weathered. It's been through two world wars. I know, you've told me that story before, Grandpa. Yes, you've told me the story before. That chair was made back in 1883 in a small hole-in-the-wall chair smithy in Paris, France. From the moment the chair smithy sat in it, he knew it was special. Something unique about the cushioning made it extraordinarily... Hey, Grandpa, I have another call. I have to go. The couple that ran the shop could never Grandpa. bring themselves to sell the Grandpa. Chair, no matter how high the bid. <sighs> Hello. Oh, 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 my God. Bins? What's going on? Chuck, you gotta see this, buddy. <laughs> what? What happened? Oh man, dude, you gotta see this for yourself. Drive down to the Jimmy's Lou on East Main, man. <laughs> Jimmy's Lou? Vince, what'd you do this time? Oh man. Let's just say Jimmy just got one too many lubes. <laughs> All right, what? Well, I'll be there in a little bit. Grandpa, I have to go. Something came up. What? Oh, oh, you got something important to do. No time for the old man and his stories anymore, huh? That's the thing, Grandpa. I've heard this story. You know, there was a time when you soaked up my wisdom like a sponge. Yeah, it's when I hadn't heard it yet. Now I've heard it and you keep telling it to me. Kids think you know everything? I've been around the block, Sonny. And let me tell you, in the end, all you have is your stories. All I ask is that you listen to me. Take in my wisdom before I pass on. Can you do that for an old man? Sure. Oh, so when can I expect you? I don't know. I'm kind of busy today. Why can't I just mail it to you? Because I don't press the mail. Now just do as I say. And get that chair here now! All right, uh, you'll have it in time for the chair show. Thank you, Charles. You'll be helping an old man out. Job or something? Yeah, you could say that. Charles, I'm serious. If you're not going to college, then you need to get a job somewhere. You can't just keep moping around here all summer. I'm not moping. See? Look, I know you've been down on your luck. Mom, we've talked this to death. 
I gotta go. Okay, goodbye. <sighs> Craig, you scared the ass out of me. Oh, hey, Chuck. What are you doing in my van? That's a good question. What, you don't know? No. Maybe I sleepwalked. From where? Your house? Yeah. Craig, that's eight blocks away. Are you serious? Well, you got another re theory about how I got here? How'd you get in? The doors are locked. Probably picked them. You know how to pick locks? No. So where are we going? Picking up Vince. What did he do this time? I have no idea. Hey man, what'd you do to the Jimmy's Loop? Uh, you had to be there. We are here. Uh, you missed it. Vince, is this another one of your cries for help? Because if so, it's a pretty crappy one. Yes. Say, uh, can I get a ride with you guys? That depends on where you need to go. Actually, it doesn't. Uh, anywhere will be fine. All right, hop in. All right. All right. Damn, you got a lot of pictures in here, Chuck. Yeah, when did these go up? I've had these for a while. Where'd you get them? I made them. <sighs> you can't make all these. You don't even have a computer. Yeah, I do. Uh, well, I bet you don't have a PlayStation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, I bet you don't have pizza. I don't have pizza. <laughs> Stumped you. Where are all your games? Hey, what's this, uh, Woodick Institute? You going there or something? No, I didn't get accepted. Where are you gonna major in? Graphic design. Oh, yeah, that's cool, with the... with the graphics and the, and the art and stuff. Yeah. Where are all your games? Look around, dude. Hey, man, don't even worry about college, all right? Those uppity Woodick bastards don't deserve you anyway. All I ever needed to know in life, I learned in kindergarten. Number one, Number two. Yeah, dude, those free shows that what I don't even know what they're talking about, man. Dude, they probably made a mistake anyhow, man. They'll be calling you up the deed of admissions. They'll be like, dude, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, man. Give you the wrong paper. Come and join us, please. We'll pay you. We'll pay you tuition, all right? Just please come, all right? Teach us, all right? Hey, look, see? It's deed of admission right now. I'm calling you. Hello? Hello. May I speak to Charles Fowler? This is him. Yes, this is Ron Starning. I'm the dean of admissions at Woodick Institute. I was uh, looking back at some of the old portfolios and I stumbled upon yours and I don't know, there was something about it. Uh, anyway, your application was rejected and there's nothing I can do now, but I definitely saw something in you and I, I want you to attend Woodick Institute. I don't ever do this, but I'm going to be in your area on the 18th so I can hold a kind of interview if you're available that day. Hello? Yes. That's four days from now. Does that sound good? Yeah. Great. I'm busy until 8 at night, so you'll have to come then. 8 o'clock good? Sure. It'll be a quick interview. I have to leave pretty soon after that. Here, uh, let me give you directions. I have an interview with Warwick Institute. Wow, that's great! That's amazing! Weren't you excited? Yeah. A little stunned, I think. When, when is it? Uh, four days. Four days? Four days? I knew you had talent. Wait, wait, that's plenty of time to be back from Grandpa's. Uh, yeah. 
Well, you better get going. Okay. Dudes. Shh. I'm kicking Vince's ass. I do not need distractions. You may be kicking my ass, but by the same token, I'm ruining your brand new shoes. Alright, you guys are gonna need to leave, so wrap up the game. Oh, yeah. Wait, why? Craig, pause it. I can't just leave you here all alone, can I? What do you mean? Where are you going? I have to deliver a chair to my grandpa in Utah, and then I have an interview in San Jose. An interview? Damn it, Craig, why don't you pause it? God, I hate playing with you. You always do this. There are no rules in warfare, Vince. I Man, I should just buy a gun and win the game permanently. There's no point. I'd buy a bigger gun with more range and accuracy. Damn it! So, I'll see you guys when I get back from my interview. Wait, interview? Who do I want to interview you? Woodick Institute. Woodick? I thought they dumped your ass. Yeah, me too. Damn it, Craig, will you pause it? Look, Chuck, I can't go home right now. It's the first place they'd look. Well, then why don't you just come with me? Leaving town. It's even better. Craig, you bastard! Oh. Now you have to convince me. I don't want you to go. You drive a hard bargain. I'm in. I'm just kidding, dude. Of course you gotta come. Otherwise, who'd be there to dry out Vince? You're right. Need help with that door? No, I got it. Yeah, this trip's gonna be pretty boring. Unless... Otto! Dude, we gotta go get Otto. Otto, <laughs> oh, get the ass up, man. We're going, man. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Man. Sweet. Well, dude, we're going to Chuck's granddad's in Utah, dude, man. He's so much yeah, fun. And then, like, don't leave us hanging, man. And then the girls are like... Uh, hey, can we get some food? Yeah, Chuck, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Yeah, neither have I. <clears throat> Shh. Everyone, I was about to say something. Hunger. Well, that settles it. I will have a number one, a uh, non-jumbo size. Number one, jumbo. All right, I didn't want a jumbo size. I didn't, Next. Want, I didn't want a jumbo size. Uh, I just wanted like a regular it's size. It's too late, Vince. It's too late. The trick is to not say the word jumbo at all. Watch this. Excuse me, sir. Hi. How you doing? Can I have a number three, please? Number three, jumbo. I don't. Want next? A I did not Break. want. Break. Jumbo. Relax. Can I get a number two jumbo size, please? Number two. Jumbo. Huh? Number two jumbo size. Okay. Next. Don't worry about it, man. You can have our extra.
combo. That's sick, Chuck. Call what you will. I call it good eating. I call it sick. You know, if you think about it, what happened back there is a lot like Oedipus. You see, our fate was to have a jumbo meal. I tried to avoid my fate by saying non-jumbo, but by trying to avoid my fate, I went directly towards my fate. Yeah, well, did you have sex with your mom and kill your dad? No. Then you're not like Oedipus. Oh, we gotta go soon, guys, so uh, hurry up. Wait, what's the rush? Well, it's gonna take a couple days to... Are you serious? Well, we are driving to Utah. Wait, Utah, California, or Utah, the state? There is no Utah, California. Where'd my daddy go? This is gonna blow. Come on, it's not gonna be that bad. Mm. You better have fun. Cool. I mean, we have auto with us. Come on, don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, man, all is awesome. You can't rely on me too much. One day I won't be here to guide you. What do you mean? And you're not leaving us, are you? Well, no, not yet. But it's the nature of things. Nothing lasts forever. I know that. As obvious as it may seem to you, it's still going to hit you hard when it happens. Nothing lasts, not you, not me, not us. So, what are you saying? I'm saying things are going to change. The balance of power will shift. Friendships will break and bend to become stronger. And hardships will bring hidden potential to the surface. Whoa. Yeah, well, I just found my hidden potential with Vince's sister last night. And that signifies the end of the meal. Yeah, way to go, Craig. You just ruined a beautiful moment. You guys know you love it. I'm gonna get more soda. Chuck, I have to go. Why didn't you go back at the restaurant? Well, I didn't have to go then. Okay, well, next time go, even if you don't feel like it. You can't be stopping every five minutes. Uh, Vince, what is that? It's fries. The briefcase, Vince. Why do you have it? Mm, I found it in the bathroom. And you just took it? Yeah. You want some seasoned fries? Vince, what is in the briefcase? Mm, it's empty. 
They must have took what was inside. They? Yeah, the two guys who killed the guy I found it on. You found an empty briefcase on a dead guy? Yeah, weird, huh? Yeah. Leave it outside. What is it? Vince has to take a piss. Whoa, how'd you know? You have to go again? Didn't you go at the restaurant? You didn't, did you? Just make it quick. Vince Morganson? I haven't seen you since graduation. So, how are you? I'm good, Dexter. That's great. What you been up to? Not a damn thing. Me too. Funny meeting you out here. What are you doing out here anyway? This is kind of off the beaten path, if you know what I mean. Well, I was taking a leak. Yeah, but way out here. You're out here. What are you doing out here? I was in a van with some friends, and when I went to do my business, I guess they left without me. I'm sure it was just a misunderstanding. All right, well, uh, I'm going to go, so I'll see you later. I haven't eaten in three days. I don't know where I am. <sighs> Guys, this is Dexter. We went to our high school. We know. Hey Chuck, is it okay if we uh Give this guy a ride? Yeah, sure, no problem. Where do you need to go? Oh, nowhere in particular. Um, well, we're going quite a ways, all the way to Utah, actually. Is there somewhere we can drop you off along the way? No, I'll be fine. I've always wanted to see Utah. Okay. guys big gamers? You know, like role-playing games? No. What about card games? You like those? What are you getting at, Dexter? Well, what if I told you that there's a game that combines the fantastical, dreamlike quality of Dungeons and Dragons with the gritty, no-holds-barred quality of Crazy Eights? Then I would tell you you're insane. 
Sounds crazy, doesn't it? But sometimes, truth is stranger than fiction. Magic the Gathering, who wants to play? Vince, you went to take a piss and you picked up a magic nerd. Yeah, weird, huh? Yeah. Tell you what, Dexter, me and Otto are busy right now, but Vince would love to play. All right, to tell you the truth, Dexter, I can't play. Why not? Because I have cancer. Really? Yeah, I didn't want to tell you before because I'm embarrassed about it. <laughs> Vince, you don't have to be embarrassed about cancer. Yeah, well, I am, so I can't play. Hey, Chuck, you want to play? I don't know, I'm kind of driving. No, you can still play. Here, take some of my cards. Uh, what are all these numbers? Dexter, I don't want to play. It looks too complicated. No, it's easy. Let me show you. These are the mana, and these are the hit points. Oh, these De are... Dexter, take them. I, I need to watch the Just road. Just five minutes, I swear, and then you'll be hooked. Come on, check it out. I've been waiting till it's almost too late. De no, it's, Dexter, no, De take, take them, Dexter. Go. To see you walking oh, away. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, bad. Don't worry, man. I'll back you up. I don't really need backup, Craig. I'm just gonna go exchange information. Play it cool. Play our cards right, we can get out of this. Hey, sorry about this, guys. This uh, idiot in my car distracted me. Ah, that's no problem. Don't admit to anything. Uh, we retract that last statement. At this point in time, we do not know who the guilty party is, par barring an investigatory uh, investigation. Whatever. We'll just let the insurance companies figure it out. Hey, uh, TQ, we only got one roll of film left. Yeah, I know. I already counted. We only have one roll left? I thought we had more than that. I think we can wrap it in one roll, JR. Yeah, right. What are you guys filming? Uh, it's a documentary for our film class. On what? <laughs> what does it matter? We're screwed. We're doing it on Bakersfield. God, it's hot in here. Let's go outside. Bakersfield, the city? Yep. See, I told you it was a stupid idea. Bakersfield is the armpit of California. Nobody would want to go there, let alone watch a documentary on it. Well, if you're doing it on Bakersfield, why are you going north towards Stockton? Controls. See, his idea was to compare Bakersfield to every other awful city in California. We even went by Fresno. That's horrible. Now tell me about it. Well, uh, we have to be on our way, so uh, we should probably exchange this information. This documentary is a good idea, whether you like the cities or not, JR. And as far as the film rules are concerned, maybe we'd have some left if we hadn't wasted it all on we your incest and whining. Go. I was only whining so incessantly. Could exchange... You're completely incompetent behind the camera. Well, maybe I wouldn't have been so distracted without your shrill little voice in my ear. Oh, if this documentary of yours is so great, you should probably then get what your license and registration. Possible? Oh, yeah. What does that mean? Um, if this is about Bakersfield, the city, then what have we learned about it? It's an armpit, yeah, but everybody knows that. You don't need a documentary about it to so show it. So, we'll be right Shut up, back. JR! I didn't see you coming up with any good ideas. Oh, I had ideas. I had plenty of ideas. I had good ideas. I had fun ideas. Nobody bothered to ask me about it. Get in the van, quit. Alright, when everyone's in, floor it. No, I, I still need to give my, uh... No, you don't. Just go while they're not looking. That's illegal. So is rear-ending people. Cut your losses and go. Look, do you want your insurance rates to go up? Besides, it's gonna take forever with these guys bickering. Whining about it? Shut up, man. 
They're pushovers. You barely scratched their bumper. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. No, hey. No. Vince, close the door. They can't do that. Anybody get their license plate number? Hi. Did you get their license plate number? No. Can I be in your documentary? Let's get the bastard. jail. Really? Well, maybe. I don't know exactly, but I know that it's more than a fine. I think I see them behind us. Damn it, now I'm screwed. No, no you're not. Here, here, take this exit right here. That's right, Pops. I hope so, Craig. If I die today, I'm taking you with me. Hey, does anyone have gum? No. No, Vince. All right, I'm gonna get some gum. Yeah. Wait, what? He needs to stay here. Craig, roll down your window. Wait, Vince! Stay here! I'll be back in a few seconds. Don't worry about it. Wait, what if they see us? We'll need to make a quick getaway. back with gum. This is just way too much stress right now. Oh, shh, shh, shh. There they are. They can't hear us, Chuck. Well, then don't move. If they see us, they've probably already seen the van that we're in. Well, then shut up. Chuck, we just went over this. They okay, Craig, I'm going to break you. For violence, Chuck. Okay, now where the hell is Vince? Are we buying gum? We need to leave. How hard is it to buy some gum? Yeah, there are a lot of different flavors of gum. It can be very difficult to decide. All I know is I've never had this much trouble buying anything before. I don't know what to tell you. All right, I'm gonna go get him. I knew they would see us. All right, so just let me guess. Okay, see, this is the time when I need to make a quick getaway. And now I can because Vince is buying gum!
Okay. I guess I have to go reason with him. Uh, Craig and Otto, you guys come back me up. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Alright, look guys, we don't want any trouble, alright? <laughs> you don't want any trouble. Maybe you should have thought of that before you spit off back there. Hey, I apologize for that, alright? I made a mistake. I'm really sorry. I'd be more than happy to exchange information with you, but just don't tell the police it was a hit and run, okay? I can't have something like that on my record. <sighs> no way. You hit us and you ran. It's called a hit and run and it's a felony. We're going to the police right after we get your license plate number. We'll stand aside before we charge you with obstruction of justice. JD, go get their license plate number. Craig, lock the back license plate. Oh, I see how it's gonna be. Yeah, get the jumper cables. We're gonna try a little shock therapy on Mr. Hit and Run here. Hey, look. Shoot, I have to move my car. Uh, JDEF, JR, keep an eye on these guys. You guys drag him out of the way. Um, I'm gonna go get Vince. Vince, come on, we have to go right now. So buy your gum and let's go. Come on, we're kind of All in a right. hurry. Let me just find the right gum. How about this one? That was one of the first ones I ruled out. Okay, you're not getting any gum. God, this is a nightmare! Don't go on the freeway, that's where they think you're going. Then where am I supposed to go? Let's find a restaurant. We ate two hours ago! I'm kinda hungry too. Fine. It's just supposed to be a simple trip. Never had so much stress in all my life. All we're doing is delivering a chair, for Christ's sake. Hey, man, don't worry about it. You'll pull through. Just know that when times are tough, we'll be here backing you up, man. Thanks a lot, Vince. Really appreciate your backup back there at the convenience store. All that gum you never bought really came in handy when those guys are about to jumpstart my ass. Hey, hey. I may be a bit impulsive, but it doesn't... Hey, a purse. Vince, just put it back. They'll come back for it. Yeah. Vince, leave it alone. I need the drop man behind Bargain Burger at 2 p.m. Password is Green Yardstick. This is Bargain Burger. Yeah, that's why. It's 156 right now. Let's go check it out. Well, we're not gonna go check it out. Put it back. Oh, come on. No, it's probably bogus anyway. Just leave it alone. Chuck, let's be reasonable. If we follow through with this, we can get to see real gangsters. Yeah. Look, Chuck, all we're doing is going back. I'll probably be bogus anywhere. It's like 10 seconds. I want to see gangsters, too.
third party. Here's your payment as promised. You guys did a great service for us. For that, we're forever in your debt. It's a funny thing, though. We were expecting a girl, not four guys. What are you gonna do, though, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it was uh, good doing that thing we did for you that time. So, uh, if there isn't anything else. Hey! What? Did you get to count it? Count what? The money? What money? money in the bag. Aren't you going to count it? Make sure it's all there? Oh, yeah. You know what? We trust you, all right? Thanks again. You idiot! God, we could have been killed! I knew you would do this. I knew it. God, what is it with you and gangsters? I've never seen so many in all my life. Did you see how much money was in that bag? Yeah, we're throwing the first dumpster we can find. What? Okay, whoever this belongs to will probably be very angry that we took it. Or we'll probably have a gun. But, wow, there's so much money in there. Yeah, do you know how many supermodels you could buy with that? At least four or five. You could buy your way into Woodick with that. It is a lot of money. That's what I'm saying. That's what we're saying. Okay, we'll hold on to it for now. Yeah, we're rich. But if you Chug. ever do anything like that again... Ch Chug! We're rich now. Be happy. Yeah, man. That money's ours. Free and clear. Plus, we got the sweet purse. You took the purse? God, what is wrong with you? God, why can't we ever lose these guys? I really need a ride. Absolutely gorgeous. Wait, Craig, uh, which way are you headed? That way. Oh, we're going the same way. Hop on in. Thanks so much. You like Otto? He's all right. You find him strangely attractive? And if so, why? I, I don't really know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, save some for the rest of us. I have mace in my purse. Not again. Where's my purse? I left it in the diner. Oh. There it is. It's her bag. 
what? No. You're jumping to conclusions, man. She's not a gangster. Are you such an idiot? It's her purse. Um, where exactly do you need to go? Actually, I need to find a car on this road. These four guys in a blue sedan stole something of mine. So what kind of man are you interested in? What? I, I don't know. A man that you might like, you know, what would be a characteristic he might have? I don't know. He'd have a sweater or something. A sweater? I get you a sweater. Hey, um, can I can I sit up front? Let me sit up front. I don't know if we're going to be able to find this blue sedan or whatever. I mean, they may have gone the other way or... Hey, uh, you. I'm not going to believe this. I'm not going to believe what? Look, they're right in front of us. Head them off. Go, head them off! to me, so hand it over before I shoot you in the head. Listen, lady, we don't have your bag. What, what makes you think we took it? The drop man said four stupid guys picked it up. Ten seconds later, you almost run into me? I put two and two together. But those are four stupid guys. Taking my bag. We did. Oh, uh, we don't. I mean, why would I drive you around if we had the bag? That doesn't make any sense. It would make sense if you were four imbeciles, which just so happens to be the case. So hand it over before I hurt your friends. Hang on, I got a plan. Whoa, everybody! Let's just calm down before somebody gets their head blown off here. Now, there's a perfectly rational solution to all this. Just search both cars. Whoever the thieves are will obviously have the bag in their vehicle. Fine. Fine. You idiot! It's in our car! Watch and learn. Do you know how little comfort that provides me? God. You bricks! You had the bag the whole time! I should shoot you right here! I, 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 I had nothing to do with it. That was, that was your plan? All right, look, lady, this is preposterous. They've obviously committed the theft and placed the stolen goods in our car. How could you? Stealing from this poor woman and then blaming four innocent guys who are on a pilgrimage as charity for the elderly? You make me sick. Now, since the original agreement was to search both cars, I'll hold on to said bag while you search their car. I already found the bag, dickhead. You may have found the bag. But we can't determine who's at fault here until both cars have been searched. The verbal contract we negotiated explicitly stated you need to search both vehicles until we find the guilty party. But she found it in your car. That means you're guilty. You may have put it in our car. It's possible. We don't know. You could have placed a Maltese Falcon bag in our car, in which case the real one is in your car. If either of these scenarios is true, she still needs to search your car. I'll, I'll search his car then. Good. We'll wait in our car. I think it started with a three. 
damn it! Follow them. Okay, now they're gonna follow us. Yeah, um, I don't think that'll be a problem. Let's just say, uh, I'm out of pixie sticks. You had pixie sticks? Oh. I'm glad those assholes finally got what was going to. What are you talking about? They didn't deserve any of that. We're the assholes. They're just college students. Christ, they suffered enough doing a documentary on Bakersfield. They suffered? Think about all the people that would have had to see that piece of crap documentary. We're practically heroes. Why are we stopping here? Well, it's midnight and we're gonna go to sleep. Shotgun. Craig, you're already in shotgun. You think you outwitted me or something? No, for sleeping, for driving. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, I got a driver's seat. No, I'm driving, I get driver's seat. You have to call it now, man. We switched from driving to parking. Vince, I'm not moving. I'll play Magic the Gathering for it. Screw that, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors requires no skill. Magic the Gathering requires intelligence, careful planning, and a magical substance called mana. Well, mana doesn't exist. Alright, fine. We'll play it your way. What the hell is that? It's a tab 1012 Stoneforge Dwarf. Just take it. Horrible. Still smell bacon. That's quite a nose you have, young man. As it turns out, this is a bacon plant not two blocks down. But the fumes are so faint that well, only a chosen few can recognize it. Come to think of it, I haven't seen a nose like yours since, well, 42. 
The Great Nosia, we called it. <laughs> to be young again. To be so virile, so potent. To have the ability. I used to train noses such as yours, and for an enormous fee, I will train yours as well, to become the greatest of all time. And in the end, you will be able to sneeze fire. Yes, think of it. Money, power, fame, and the ability to sneeze fire. Welcome. Okay, this town is ridiculous. Let's go. Changes of seasons bring changes in you. I've tried to reason, but there's no pleasing you. And it's not easy, well, despite what A man that you write, you like, you know, will be a not characteristic he might no. have. I don't know, he'd have a sweater or something. It's just my smooth talking heart walking by. Ignoring advice. I can get you a sweater. It's taking control away from my mind. There goes my smooth talking heart walking by. We're in a van. My smooth talking heart walking by. Our conversations I don't all know, seem to move or or towards expectations that don't satisfy you. And it's not easy, despite what you have heard. Cause I'm not careful. Welcome. It's just my smooth talking heart. Sweaters. Sweaters? Yep. We're staying here tonight. I got this date and I'm gonna get lots and lots of sex just for wearing this sweater. I got one for you too, Chuck. Oh, you bought sweaters. Oh, that's good, because I thought that when you said sweaters, you meant that we were being attacked by giant sweaters. No, the sweater works. I got the sales girl's number and we're gonna go through every page of the Kama Sutra tonight if I wear it on a date. The number's a fake. What? The numbers are fake. She was using your obvious need for sexual attention to sell you sweaters no real man would buy. She's not gonna get away with this. Craig, we don't have time for this. I'll be back in a second. Craig, can you please stop getting arrested? I have a chair to deliver. It's a crime of passion. Can you bottle your passion up so that we don't have to deal with it? God, not one good thing has happened on this trip. Not one. Otto, can't you do something? Anything else on this trip? We are now 12 hours behind schedule. In fact, I'm beat. So we're sleeping in the van again tonight.
I think we should go to a nightclub. What do you think you're gonna find in a nightclub at 10 in the morning? I don't know, man. There's always something crazy going on in those nightclubs. Yeah, at night. Look, would you just humor me for once? So far on this trip, it's been all about you and you getting us sidetracked. Okay, you know what? You find a 24-hour nightclub and we'll go there for lunch. All right, let's ask this guy. Hey, can you help us out? Yeah, man, what do you need? Uh, we're looking for a, for a nightclub. And for like later tonight? See, I told you. Shut up. No, 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 one that we can uh, have lunch at. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta go to night and day. It's the only nightclub in this town that's open 24 hours a day. And it serves this great chicken sandwich. Right. See, I told you, man, there are 24-hour nightclubs. I heard about them in time. Dude, you don't read time. So how do we get there? Well, you know, I was just thinking of going there myself. So why don't you guys give me a ride and I'll show you where it is. Oh, yeah, sure, come on in. All right, man, just go up a couple hundred yards. Um, okay, which way do I turn? Uh, no, nah, just, just park, man, you're here. A 24-hour nightclub right under our noses. And to think we almost missed it. What? What? For finding the place. I found it. The place, you know, finder's fee. Little Skrilla, little Cheddar, some D to the Olas. Come on. No, we drove you here. Done deal, all right? Have fun with your chicken sandwich. Oh, come on. But compare how much time I saved you to what you saved me. I could have just walked here. You guys would have had a hell of a time finding this place without me. All right, here's a dollar. A dollar? What's a dollar get me? Oh, one of the chicken sandwiches they got in there. You know, they got the French roll with the sauce and the tomato and the lettuce and the chicken. It's one hell of a sandwich and it's more than a dollar, it's six dollars. Look, you're not gonna get five more dollars out of us, okay? That'd be six cents for every foot we drove you. Come on, I was protecting you too. You don't know the people around this town. They take advantage of a guy like you and then they ask a lot. I'm not asking much, just a chicken sandwich, man. It's a frickin' chicken sandwich! You know, I, I don't really trust that guy. Someone should stay and guard the van. Rochambeau? Is that another Magic the Gathering thing? Yeah. Dude, you're guarding the van. All right. Frickin' chicken sandwich, man. You mind the uh, the air? Why did we come to this club with god-awful music? It's good music. It soothes the soul. Oh, this guy's all whiny and depressing. Chuck, you're all whiny and depressing. The only difference between you and this guy is the guitar, the mic, and the paycheck he brings home at the end of the night.
hell are you looking at? Hey, where's the chair? What? The chair's gone. You're joking. Not really. Where the hell is it? Uh, I think it's back at the place we had lunch. At noon? Yeah. Why the hell would the chair be there? Unless you took it out and left it. Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> you retard. It better be there when we get back. There, see? Right where I left it. That's not the same chair. Yeah, it is. It's got, you know, backrest. This is not the same chair. This is a completely different chair. This doesn't even have armrests. It's close enough. How did I know? How did I know that you would screw this up? God knows why you took it out in the first place. Sorry. You're dead. You are dead. Hey, 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 you said he was sorry, all right? Ah! 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 Hey, what the hell are you doing to my club? Find the chair yet? Uh, not quite. Yeah, I'm sure you looked real hard. Well, it's not in here, it's not out there. Help me with the trash, then you can go. What is the chair doing out here? I put it out here. Some idiot left it out front. So you replaced it with another chair? No. Some other idiot left that one out there. God, I wish you kids had something better to do than to leave chairs places. So if we drive all night, he's asleep. It's bedtime, boys, and shotgun. I call driver.
California. It took us three days, which should have taken us four hours. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Thank God there's nothing in Nevada. We might actually make some good time. Dude, there's stuff in Nevada. No, no, there isn't. Well, there has to be at least some stuff. I mean, it's an entire state. No, believe me, there isn't. Guys, we're in and we're out, okay? Oh, Charles! Charles! Oh, Charles! I thought you had trouble or something. Yeah, well, uh, we got out of it. Oh, good, 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 good. And you brought friends. Yeah, well, um... Well, we, we've got plenty of bedrooms. They can double up. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, Grandpa, we can't stay, so could you uh, uh, just take oh, this? Uh, uh, bad, 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 uh, back problem. Uh, uh, could you youngins uh, help help bring it in? Uh, right this way, please. Sure. Could, uh, right down here in the den. Okay, just bring it in here, Charles. Right, right in here. Right. So we'll work fine right here. I'll be good. Yeah, kind of orient it towards the wall over there. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah. Uh, would you guys like some uh, some snacks? Come on in the kitchen. Yeah, sure. Anywhere, sit down anywhere. Wait, you guys. Wait. Okay, Grandpa, we have to go. Oh, nonsense. You don't have enough time for your old grandfather? No, it's well, just we have this, you know, we have a long trip ahead of us. You know, so... I won't be around much longer. And once I'm gone, there's no coming back. You'll wish you'd made time in your rush rush schedule to sit down and talk with me even for a few minutes. No, Grandpa, I, I'd love to spend time talking with you, but... But? Okay, I guess I can stay a few minutes. Charles, you don't know how good it does my heart to see that chair sitting there. It sure takes me back. So much history crammed in that little chair. And I think it all began in that little hole in the wall with chairs, Millie and Paris. You know, from the minute they forged that chair, they knew it was special. It had a certain aura about it that put anyone who sat in at ease. Grandpa, I've already heard this story. Jean Baptiste Frenot! That was his name. The man who eventually bought it in the chair smithy. For quite a hefty price, too, if I remember right. Both financially and psychologically. For he became obsessed with this chair, shining his world's fair of 1904, 1904. Hadn't even opened. And there was already a buzz of excitement for this one plain-looking chair that seemed to course with electricity, even though there was no power source visible. So young Adolf Hitler would have gotten into art school if it weren't for his rendition of a chair, which the administration found oddly disturbing. There were only five articles of furniture on the Hindenburg that survived, four metal tables, and one wooden chair. Woodward and Bernstein never found out who Deep Throat was. I'll give you a hint. It's got four legs and is in this room. And it's the chair. Four metal tables and one wooden chair. And as you can imagine, there was oil everywhere. Luckily, none of the oil from the Exxon Valdez got on the chair. But it ruined the fabric. And you know that fabric is some of the nicest fabric I've seen in my life.
So you see, the chair has had quite a big part to play in history. In its own way, bringing about both world wars, the Great Depression, and both fascism and communism. But it would be a mistake to assume that the chair is evil. Rather, it's a symbol. A symbol of man's fallibility. And so, if there's any lesson to be learned from the legacy of the chair, it's that you only go on this crazy ride called life once. So choose your path wisely. The worst thing in the world is when you're my age and looking back on your life and saying, woulda, coulda, and shoulda. And in the long history of the chair, people have used those words because they have chosen the wrong path. They don't see that the chair is their destiny. Everyone gets a once in a lifetime opportunity and it only happens once. The trick is seeing it and making the right choice when it comes. I saw that in the chair and it hasn't left me since. Well, until the house burned down and even then it was the only thing I saved. I entrusted it to your mother until I could move into a new house. Wait, how can a chair be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? You never sat in a chair, did you? No. You know, a thought just occurred to me. It's rather selfish of me, after all the chair has been through, to keep it all to myself. The time has come to pass it on to a new generation. Charles, I want you to keep the chair. What? I'm passing the chair on to you, Charles. I hope it helps you on your journey as much as it has helped me. Wait, what about the chair show? Charles, I have a confession to make. There is no chair show. I made it up. What? Why? Well, as you know, I'm not going to be around much longer. And I wanted to tell you what I've learned before I pass on to the next life. I didn't want my lifetime of experience to die with me. You mean to tell me that you made me drive that stupid chair all the way to Utah just so you could tell me the stupid story again? <laughs> Basically! You know, uh, it's really good meeting you. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, you can't wait. You forgot the chair. My once in a lifetime opportunity is somewhere else. <laughs> Charles, Charles, <laughs> the chair, Charles, <clears throat> the <clears throat> chair. <clears throat> You're once. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I get it. You're dying. I'll get the chair. <clears throat> He'll be right there. He's getting a chair. So if I drive back straight, all night without sleeping, it'll take me 13 hours. So I should be back in time with a couple hours leeway. Where's Vince? God damn it! Vince, get in, we're leaving.
Vince, come on, let's go. Time to go to sleep. No, I'm driving straight back. Pull an all-nighter, huh? Sounds good to me. Wake me if you crash. Watch the road, Chuck. I was falling asleep there. Thanks. <clears throat> God, I don't know what I'd do without you, Otto. You always seem to bail me out. I don't know how you do it either. You just... You just snap your fingers and everything's okay. That's weird. Usually I can snap. Chuck, watch your There's nothing special about snapping, Chuck. Anyone can do it. No, I don't know one can snap like you can. If you think like that, you'll never learn. Wait. Are you saying that one day I'm going to be able to snap like you? No. I'm saying when the time comes, you won't have to. Dude, that was from The Matrix. Hell yeah, it was. Dude, that movie was sweet. But it works here, too. It's not the snapping. It's the attitude. I appear cool, collected, and in control. People see this, and they want to go along with me. And the situation is resolved. Yeah, it's easy for you to say. It's pretty hard to be all collected when you have two morons constantly making trouble for you. I mean, they didn't used to be like that. It's like they just became monsters all of a sudden. I mean, Vince with the gangsters? I've never seen so many gangsters in all my life. And Craig with the... somehow breaks forward laws while breakdancing? I didn't even know that was possible. They both give me the worst possible advice at every... every turn. So in other words, they haven't changed a bit. Chuck, watch your Those people who we choose to call our friends are largely reflections of our own personality. What we fear, what we admire, and what we hope to become. Craig and Vince used to be cool guys. We used to have so much fun together. 
I'm having a good time, man. I don't know why you gotta stick up your ass all of a sudden. You and Vince are killing me. Whoa, whoa. Don't drag me into this. Vince, I have to drag you everywhere we go. Every time I turn around, you just wander off. Charles! You're lucky to have friends. Why, in my day, my day, mind you, you had one friend, Tops, if you were lucky. Grandpa, that doesn't make any sense. None of this would have happened if I didn't have to drive and deliver that chain. All you had to do was drive me to your grandpa's and drive back to your interview. Is that such a hard thing to do? You're the one who kept causing all those problems throughout history. How do I know you're not causing them now? I did not cause those problems, Chuck. I was merely present for them. Just like I am present for this one. What? I'm supposed to believe that? You drove Hitler to become a fascist. I think the world would be better off without you. No, I'm not leaving. Not this time. Not until you understand. Not until you start watching the world. Morning, sunshine. How long have I been asleep? Quite a while. It's two o'clock! Why the hell didn't you wake me up? <laughs> you were so peaceful, I didn't want to ruin it. We could have crashed! We should have crashed! Yeah, I know. You're lucky the road's so straight. Where are we? Don't worry, we're still going west. We'll be back in plenty of time for the interview. I don't know. It's in six hours. You still think we can make it? Probably. If not, you can always make another one. Well, see, that's the thing is I can't. It's the only time you can see me. Oh. Well, if not, you can always be a short or cook for the rest of your life. Ha 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 Stop somewhere and eat. This driving's making me hungry. We don't have time, Vince. Well, are we just gonna go the whole day without eating? Okay, we stopped once. That's it. If you want dinner, get it now. Got it for here? Yeah. Fine. You know, this place looks familiar. Yeah, this is the place we found the purse. Oh, Jesus, you're right. Relax, they're not here now. I know. You guys realize how many people we screwed on this trip? I mean, we still have that bag. You know what the odds are we're gonna find those guys again? Astronomical. We're pretty much free and clear. I don't know. Hey, Chuck, don't be such a pessimist. We're gonna get away with it. Yeah, what goes around comes around. Okay, Vince, that means we won't get away with it. Why are we going to bargain? Alright, guys, look, justice has been served. 
Here, why don't you take this bag, okay? It's full of money. You could probably pay for all the damage and you could probably even buy yourself a new car. All right, don't give him the money. I believe that belongs to me. Now hand it over. All right, Chuck, if you get out of this, we'll be rich. Don't give her the money. Give it to me and I won't kill you. She's bluffing. Don't do anything. Give me the bag. There are too many witnesses, Chuck. She can't do anything. Don't give her the bag. I'm not bluffing. I'm gonna count to ten and then I'm gonna shoot. Get out of this one. One. All right, all right. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. All right, enough! Here, take the money, okay? I'm sick of worrying about it. Guys, take down my license plate. Report is a hit and run. I don't care anymore. So tired of this crap! I have an interview. If I see one more gangster, I'm gonna kill him! <laughs> Where did you find that? You must have stole it off some decrepit guy. your way. Don't be such a square. Just try it. All right. That was weird. I guess there was stuff in that box. Sharp stuff. Chuck, if we remain calm, I'm sure we can find a logical... <laughs> Let's 
Sure. Let's discuss this like rational adults. Seems to me you got two choices. You can keep chasing me, or you could actually do something about the situation. Flag down a car with a cell phone. tire back there. Is there any way I could use, uh, like a cell phone? Sure. Thank you. Hello? Mom, it's Chuck. Hey, did you find the interview place okay? I got a flat tire. What? Where are you? I-80. Your interview's in 10 minutes. I know. All right, all right. Um, I'll come and get you. Where are you? Outside Hammersville. That's nowhere near the place. It'll be till after 8 o'clock till I can reach you. I know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he's already gone by the time I get you there. This was the only time he could meet with you. I know. All right, I'm on my way. All right, look, Chuck. I know Craig can be a handful of times, but it doesn't mean that you have to- Shut up, Vince. You're just as bad as he is steering this trip off on your stupid little tangents. I had things to do. Jesus Christ, you act like this is a big deal. It is, it is to me. Well, you should have told me or something. I thought we were just having fun. Are you brain dead? You see how stressed I was? I nearly had a stroke. Don't call him brain dead. I thought this was gonna be a fun ride too. That's what you told us it in and about. I didn't say that, you made that up. No, I said, are we gonna have fun? And you said we were. Well, I thought it would be fun. I thought we'd do something together before. Before what? Before you made it big as some graphic designer? What, you wanted one last trip to see us off? Well, it didn't work like that, Chuck. So now you're stuck with us. It's just one more error in the comedy of errors that is your life. No, this isn't just one more error. This time you guys really blew it for me. You blew it for yourself by bringing us along. What? That doesn't make any sense. How could I have- Chuck, we're screw-ups. Craig and I are screw-ups. 
We always have been. And we always will be. We thought you were like that too. But I guess what you're telling us is that you're not. You're something else entirely. I think I see your mom's car. Well, I suppose this is where we see you off. Hope we didn't blow it for you. You guys aren't screw-ups. I mean, Vince, we almost walked away with a lot of money because of you. And Craig, I mean, that song you played for that girl almost worked. All right, look, whether I get into Woodick at all or not, it doesn't matter because I'm still gonna come back home. You guys are gonna be the first people I see because you're the coolest people I know. Chuck, I know I've said this before, but this is where we part ways. But Otto, I still need your help. How am I supposed to- Chuck, I'm not gonna guide you anymore. This ride you take on your own. We guard the van in the meantime. Pirates? Yeah. Mr. Fowler? Yeah, that's me. You're late. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I got a flat tire. I'm not a big fan of excuses, Mr. Fowler. Um, yeah, well, ac actually, it's my fault I got the flat tire. It was my responsibility to be here, and I blew it. That's better. Now, I, I don't have a lot of time, so we'll have to make this quick. I do have a few questions for you. Okay. What's the most important lesson that you've ever learned?
Mr. Fowler. Okay, so I got a story. Um, a couple of days ago, my grandfather called me. You're just making stuff up for behind the scenes. <laughs> All right, shit. Cut. Ah! What are you doing to my club? That was yeah. cool. I got that on. It's gonna die any second now. Please die right now. <laughs> Set off the car to be started. <laughs> God, you don't read time. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, his obsession with the chair got the best of him. He sort of drifted off into nowhere, kind of like this dialogue. All right. was... I've been waiting till it's almost too late. I didn't wait enough to see you walking away. What's this feeling that I feel it? Washing me over with lies Now I'm masking
Didn't wait enough to see you walking away. What's this feeling that I feel in my eyes? Like a fading train crying, washing me over with lies. Now I'm asking why.